Hello, my name is Sheikh Khan, Associate Professor of Entrepreneurship. In the book, Secret of the Millennial Mind, written by Harv Ecker, the formula TFA equal R appears. Now, this means that thought produces emotion, emotion produces action, and action produces result. Uh, in the organizational psychology, it says that human attitudes come from the cognitive element, emotional element, and intentional element. If we formulate this by combining it into a process, we can see that all results come from thought. What is interesting here is that a psychological device that connects your thought and action is your emotions. In relation to this, Professor Myung Soo's research team at the University of Maryland conducted a study on the emotions and investment performance of traders investing in stock. The research has shown that the extreme positive emotions a trader feels when trading a stock have a significant impact on higher decision-making performance. Of course, it is very difficult to generalize this because countless variables come into play in stock investment, but the research and thoughts provide implications that show how important the role of emotion is in human decision making. When coming up with an idea with a creative mindset, let's listen sensitively to the emotion we feel. The moment a thought arises, there is a cognitive process that moves from your unconsciousness to our consciousness. What is important here is the implication that ideas pass through the unconscious to the conscious. This unconsciousness is formed by gathering all the events one has experienced since childhood. And this is the information warehouse in mind. Just as a tree takes root in the ground, grows and bears fruit, we must understand the process of taking root in the unconscious and bring creative idea to the level of consciousness. The process of idea creation is difficult to predict because it occurs very randomly. Brain scientists explain that dopamine and endorphins are strongly secreted at the moment an idea is born. Then we instantly feel a strong sense of pleasure. I believe that positive emotions are felt during this psychological process. The problem is that even if you feel positive about an idea, when you think about it again the next day, it may not feel so positive. What should you do if you feel positive emotion about an idea you have had? The common emphasis of self-improvement masters such as Wallace Waters, Napoleon Hill, and Bob Proctor is action. If you feel good about an idea, you should act immediately. It doesn't have to be a grand action. There are various ways to take action such as writing down the idea you come up with, brainstorming by contacting a helper who can implement the idea, or making a detailed plan to execute the idea. I hope you never let those good feeling ideas die. What you need to remember is that emotion passes in a very short period of time. In general, intensive feelings do not last longer than 5 seconds. I hope you understand and utilize the power of emotions that are momentary but can change your life. Take out your notebook and write down three ideas that come to mind right away. Business ideas are good and ideas for doing work better are also good. Or even just to absorb the idea. Next to it, write down the emotion you feel when you think of that idea in numbers. If you have a positive feeling, write down the score out of 5. If you have a negative emotion, write down the score out of minus 5. Then choose one of the three ideas you came up with and take action to make it a reality. It doesn't matter if it doesn't become a reality right now. Rather, it is very important to take action consistently and repeatedly. I hope that later, as time passes, you will read the idea you came up with today. Maybe you have discovered a creative idea today that could change your life. Thanks for watching. I wish all the best for your future.